guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Knack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, just got a quick little video to show off to you guys. Kind of a little bit of a weekend haul here of some miscellaneous stuff. My wife and I hit the uh, hit the antique store today. We like to go over there every now and then. We haven't been over there since uh, the onset of the current uh, virus situation. So we hadn't been over there in a while and uh, it was really fun. Had a good time. I did a little bit of shooting over there, but not a whole lot to show you guys. It's, you know what, 90% of that store is stuff that really doesn't hit the sweet spot of this channel. A lot of it is just, honestly, it's kind of like old lady stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of Christmas decorations, a lot of like miscellaneous wall hangings and and, and things like that, Hummels, all kinds of that kind of shit. But they do have some sweet stuff in there and I did pick up a few things that I'm going to show you guys right now. All right, guys, let's get on it. Oh, and I got some mass retail shit too. All right, let's do it right now. Knickknacks, Plastic Planet. So like I said, I got a whole box of goodies right here. First thing I want to start out with, this actually uh, I got for Father's Day. I don't know if I showed it off. I just think it's kind of cool. It's worth a, it's worth a mention. My wife picked this up for me. Uh, that is this Duck Hunt sweatshirt. You guys seeing that? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's it's a 2X. It's the first time I've ever worn a 2X in my life. Uh, I need to lose some weight, guys. It's just been tough. Uh, but anyway, no excuses, but damn. Uh, but it's very, very comfortable, and that's kind of the point. It's not really to to wear out and about. Just kind of, it's kind of my in my in home moo moo. You know what I mean? She's really comfortable, so that's a nice thing. So anyway, so that was cool. Picked up that, or my wife picked up that, I should say for me. Also, I got this, and I'll unbox this probably in a later video when I get all of them. But I picked up this um, at my Target store. I got Peter Venkman. Finally fired this one up. Um, they didn't have all of them. I just, I, I, I had all, I had, I could have gotten all of them at one point and I balked at it. Now I'm regretting it. Um, and I did share a little story about, uh, one experience I had trying to find these at a target store on Nignac live last week. If you guys were watching, you might recall that story, um, that, uh, someone, I, I was going to buy them and someone had stolen the terror dog leg out of it. Assholes. So anyway, here's Peter Venkman. Like I said, I'll open him up in a later video so that'll be pretty that'll be pretty damn cool and then my wife picked up this is actually my wife she actually got this for herself and i'm kind of jealous i gotta admit this is something i'm kind of surprised she bought for herself um i've never like pegged her as a huge star wars fan but uh yeah she got baby yoda look at baby yoda got those eyes look at those eyes they just stare into your goddamn soul baby yoda doesn't have legs but baby yoda is adorable he sits on a chair upstairs let's get a little closer look at baby yoda all righty so check it out here's baby yoda over here on my work computer desk I left that Diet Coke can in there exclusively for scaling purposes so you guys can see uh, how this guy looks out of his package. We picked him up at Walmart for $24.95, I believe. And um, he is really cool. I'm just kind of digging him a lot. I am so on the fence whether or not I want to pick up a Hot Toys or Sideshow life-size Baby Yoda and go all in on, on this character, which I have some reservations about. But I think he's really neat. I, I do love him, and I love the eyes. Those eyes are just piercing, man. And, and my wife has him displayed on a chair upstairs uh, in our living room, and you just walk in the room, and he just he's just staring at you. And it's not like it's like you would think that'd be kind of creepy, but it's not. It's actually quite delightful. So, uh, yeah, he's very cool. There's a side profile of him. Um, he's a little, he's a little off center. Like I said, he doesn't have legs or anything. He's just a, he's just a big mound of, of fluff down there basically. Um, but, but the, but his little, his little clo his little coat hides it real well. So anyway, there he is from the side. Let's look at him from the back. Not much to see, but, uh, yeah, he looks good. Again, he's kind of sort of hard to get to stand. You kind of have to fluff him up a little bit there, but, uh, there he is. There's baby Yoda. And, uh, let's get him one more time from the front. So yeah, he's just delightful. Look how cute he is. He is a cutie patootie. Uh, so I don't know, if you got kids, man, they'd love this. Um, I don't know how much this has of, uh, of collector appeal. Um, I don't know, I, I guess I, I kind of like him a lot, so I guess it does have some collector appeal. Uh, but uh, yeah, hell, I might I might get one for myself if she doesn't get sick of this. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he is pretty damn cool. Um, again, $24.95, you can't beat that. I love the eyes on him. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's pretty good quality too. I mean, he's like a stuffed animal. He's not real poseable or anything. Uh, he's like a plushie with, uh, with plastic for the head, uh, but really adorable. And I love the way, like even my studio lights, you can see are reflecting in his eyes there. Um, really clear looking eyes. That's, that's the, that's the key to that character is the eye. So really, really cool. 
Alrighty, what else did I get here besides I need to really need to clean up my uh, my monitors there. They're kind of schmooky. Look at that. I picked up this. I picked up this DVD box set of James Bond films. There's just a random assortment of James Bond films there. And two of them were missing, including, I think, uh, License to Kill, which I really didn't care too much about. And uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, which I did care about. But then I kind of perused their shelf in the thrift store, in the antique store, and found another copy of The Spy Who Loved Me. So I do actually have that. Got all of these combined for $12. So I got basically one, two, three, four, five, uh, f uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six James Bond films for, for, for 12 bucks. Uh, that's really good. I mean, yeah, yes, they are, they are DVD. They are not Blu-ray, but uh, that's not a real big, big seller for me. Um, not that I don't enjoy Blu-rays and I'd probably prefer Blu-rays, but some movies I really just don't care uh, what format I have them in. I just want to have them. And uh, so this is really nice. I've been, I've been kind of coveting getting some James Bond films, particularly, particularly uh, the earlier ones with Sean Connery and Roger Moore. Those are my favorites. So uh, yeah, this sort of fit that bill. And again, it's got the Spy Who Loved Me, which I really love. And it's got the, uh, the Man on the Golden Gun, which I also really, really dig as well. Alrighty guys, and finally, I don't want to call this a grail. It's not a grail. Uh, people throw that term, term around a little too much. But this is something I've always kind of wanted anyway, since I was a kid. And I think some kid down the block had one of these. And that's a Kermit the Frog phone. This is, well, it's awesome. It even came with the uh, the instruction booklet, which kind of leads me to think it wasn't used too much. And it's in really clean condition. Um, works really nice. The receiver, receiver's in clean condition. All the cords are there. The Diet Coke can is there, so you guys can see how big this thing is. Um, all the cords are here. I, I could probably plug this into our cable modem upstairs. Of course, you know, you just can't plug it into the wall anymore, which is kind of a shame. But um, I think I could plug this into the cable modem upstairs, and I think it would actually work, I think, because we do have a landline here in the house. Um, not that I would. But he is really, really damn awesome. I just, I love that a lot. My wife has some Mickey Mouse phones that were made by the same company. In fact, one of which is, is right here on the front. Um, so it's really damn cool. I just, I love these a lot. And so this will, this will stay down here in the archive room though. Huge fan of Kermit the Frog. He's just like, he is, he's one of my early childhood favorites. I was a big, big Sesame Street kid growing up. And uh, Kermit was always probably my favorite along with Oscar the Grouch. So really, really excited to have him in here. Of course, the Muppet Show as well. But I'm uh, really excited to have a really nice representation, a vintage classic uh, representation of Kermit the Frog here, uh, in this case in telephone uh, uh, mode. And again, it just he looks great from all angles. Um, if I turn him around a little bit, I mean, this thing, this piece will display wonderful from, you know, any angle. It's going to look great on my shelves down here. Um, I've kind of got a miscellaneous 80 shelf that he's going to go up on that's just behind me right now. But uh, yeah, he looks really, really fantastic. Dig it a lot. I mean, the only thing that looks used about this is uh, someone's phone number is there uh, in, the, uh, in the little phone number uh, window, but it's still really, really cool. I love the faux, uh, the faux wood grain on it. And then, the, and then the classic shiny red just really pops with the Kermit's green and of course the yellow of the receiver. So <laughs> absolutely awesome. I know sometimes I feel like maybe I, maybe I cast too wide of a net here on this channel. Uh, because, you know, I'm not exclusively anything on this channel as far as what I show off. Some channels just show off hot toys. Some, channel just, some channels just show off a certain specific genre. And I've, yeah, man, I, 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 go, I go with everything. It's just everything that I love. Because uh, this really this channel is really just about my journey as a collector. And I love having you guys along for the ride. Uh, so anyway, this is pretty cool. I'm really excited about this one. I spent $50 on it, if, in case you needed to know. Um, I don't know if that's a great deal or not. I think it is. Um, I don't know. It was, it felt worth it to me. He's, he's really, really clean. I need, I, I might wipe him down a little bit. I haven't, haven't done that yet, but, uh, yeah, really, really freaking awesome. Yeah. I love me some Kermit too cool. Well, alrighty guys. Well, that is going to wrap things up here on the plastic planet. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tiny showcase of what I have been, uh, collected over the last couple days here in the plastic planet. Most especially really excited to have Kermit the Frog, this telephone here in my collection. If I haven't already uh, driven that point home, 
uh, really excited to have something that just really takes me back to my childhood and that indeed does does the trick on that one like like many things I have here in the plastic planet it really is about recapturing uh, magic from days gone by and then being reminded of that stuff each and every day when I see it that's 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 the point in collecting I think uh, so anyway yeah anyway that's like I said guys that's gonna wrap things up here uh, please like share comment please do subscribe and uh, and guys I should have another video coming out in, a, in the next couple of days look for that uh, I'm gonna focus on some Clone Wars love for you guys some Star Wars Clone Wars it's been a while since we've talked Star Wars on the channel since since at least May so it's time to get back into that groove and uh, what better way than to do that than to talk a little Clone Wars and to be looking at some Clone Wars action figures and media so we'll be doing that in the coming days here on the plastic planet all right guys well life is also very 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 short guys so get out there and feel it fill it with some plastic crap all right guys till next time later love you bye